we talk a lot about what you should eat, but today I'm going to talk about how you should eat. Hi, I'm Dr. Christensen. Welcome to my office. Today I'd like to share with you a study that I thought was very, very telling and very interesting. A lot of times I tell, talk to my patients about what they should be eating. And in, in a nutshell, what you should be eating is whole natural foods. It really doesn't need to be much more complicated than that. We find that many of the crazy diets that people on are just that. They're crazy, they're not sustainable, and in the long run they tend not to be very healthy. But if you stick with the adage of whole natural foods, you're going to be in much better position. Um, this study illustrated to me the importance of not only what you eat but how you eat. And here's what happened. They, they took a large group of people, they meaning scientists or researchers, whoever were doing the study, and I'll have a link to the study posted at the, um, on, on the website with this video. Um, a large group of people was taken, they were divided into, into three groups, and each person was given a half a cup of almonds. And the first group um, was told to, to take, take, take a couple almonds and chew them ten times and then swallow them. The second group chew the almonds twenty times and the third group chew the almond forty times. And and after they had done that, they took a blood sample from each person and they measured how much vitamin E was in the blood of each person. And for many of us, not surprisingly, the group that chewed their almonds 40 times, that chewed them the most, had the highest levels of vitamin E in their bloodstream. Now the interesting point to this is, they were all eating the same thing, but the nutrients that they were able to derive from what they ate what was different. The point being is that the more thoroughly you chew your food, the more nutrients you're going to pull out of that food. And I think that's an important thing. In, in our culture, many people um, gobble their food down. And they, they don't chew it very well. And, and it's not um, going to give them the maximum, amount of, the maximum amount of nutrition that they should. Whereas if you eat an almond, and almonds are very healthy, but you chew it ten times, until it's just chunky and you swallow it versus you chewing it 40 times where it's, it's kind of mixed with the saliva, it's this slurry that you, you swallow, um, you're going to get much more nutrients. Now here's, here's the kicker. What we find is that when you gobble your food down, um, the body is, is not going to get the nutrients that it needs and the, the brain is going to keep telling the body, keep eating more, I don't have the nutrients that I need yet, and, and you tend to overeat. When you chew your food more thoroughly, what's going to happen is the brain is going to say, oh, okay, I got all the nutrients out that I need, and therefore you're going to get the signal that says, I'm, I'm satisfied, I'm, I'm, I'm full. And we end up eating far less calories than we would if we um, gobbled the food down. Here's the other thing. It almost seems like the body will pull out the calories first and reserve the nutrients until they're broken down and, and released. And so the point is is that we want to be able to get the nutrients out of, out of the food. We don't want to over, overeat and, and by slowing down, chewing your food more thoroughly, you're going to get more nutrients out of the food that, that you, you do eat and you're going to fill up quicker, you're not going to consume as many calories, and for many that, that means you're going to start losing weight. Um, one of the things we tell our kids at home is, is set your fork down between every bite. And, and when you do that and you start slowing down and you start chewing your food more thoroughly, you start actually visiting and talking between, my, between bites and, and enjoying each other's company during the meal, um, you're going to be a lot healthier. And just for an example, um, I, I started doing this and I never considered myself a fast eater, but I certainly wasn't a slow eater. And so when I slowed down and consciously started chewing my food more, more thoroughly, eating, eating slower, um, the first month that I did that I lost 11 pounds and, and, um, and it was really without hardly trying. And so again, our, our message is, is slow down. Enjoy your meal. The other benefit of slowing down when you eat is, is as you're relaxed, the parasympathetic, the parasympathetic nervous system is, is activated um, versus the sympathetic. Sympathetic nervous system controls your, 
your fight or flight or freeze re response when there's stress and anxiety. The parasympathetic nervous system controls relaxation, digestion, and healing. And so as we slow down, as we relax, the digestion improves, the healing improves, and, and we do much better. And so what I challenge you to do is, is take a couple almonds, and I want you to chew it 40 times. Count 40, 40 times. And, and see what it's like. And um, for many of you, you won't be able to do it because your, your body is so unaccustomed to chewing your food thoroughly. But many of you will be able to make it through 40 chews and realize that, wow, you know, I'm, I'm really, really chewing my food. Um, give, give it a try. See, see what you notice. And again, it's not only what you eat, but it's how you eat, that, eat it that's going to make the big difference. Um, so uh, share this video. Um, again, we'll, we'll post, post some notes be below and share and like and subscribe and all that thing that people tell you to do. So anyways, um, thanks for watching us today and we'll see you next time.